Vlog day 197. Well, I guess it's gonna be a gray day. I'm planning on spending the whole day riding again today, so I also don't think it'll be particularly exciting. Oh, this is unlocked. I mean locked. I mean unlock. I have a hard time, like, if I sleep past eight. Well, I don't know what time it is, but basically I have a hard time, like, either I gotta run first thing in the morning or last thing in the afternoon because this, like, late morning stretch is where, where the best riding time is. Although yesterday I had a full, a solid full day. So I'll try to make today a solid full day too. I just, I've been craving a run for a while, but I just can't make myself do it when I could be riding. But I'm getting out of shape. If I don't, I need to run more. Well, it definitely snowed last night. Better that it's nice and white outside. Quite the assembly line going here this morning. Well, I've been here for about five hours. I got another three or 4,000 words written and the, I, I think we're cooking with gas now. I think the story's moving. I had a good hour and a half talk with my buddy Asia, so that was really nice to catch up. I haven't really talked to him in like a year. So we sat down, had coffee, chatted, and then, and I'm starving, so gonna find something to eat. And then I wanna get back to writing because things are moving with the story. I wrote, I just wrote a really fun scene that was a, Complete departure from the whole story. It was a nice little breath of fresh air. A little bit of world building moment, you know? And then enjoying the world right before, you know, everything gets plunged into horror. So I'm really excited to keep writing. I just want to eat. I also want to read. One of my big goals for this year is to read a lot, maybe a book a week. So I just got a book called The Seven Basic Plots, which I've been recommended a couple different times. And it basically the premise is that there are only really seven stories we tell and that we just kind of dress them up and tell them a little bit differently, but there's really only seven plots. So I figured, yeah, might as well read that, figure out what story I'm telling, and maybe that'll help me be able to strengthen it. Because one of the greatest lies that I subject myself to is the need for originality. Like, I've gotta be original, I've gotta come up with something new, and in reality, there's nothing new. I, we talked about this before uh, in an earlier vlog. There's nothing new under the sun, and I'm not gonna be able to come up with anything fantastically new. So the goal should be just to own the art and to craft and to become as good at it as I can. Beg, borrow, and steal everything I can from other stories and from other successful writers and from the people that have come before me. And I think through mastering that, that's when the true originality comes through, is when I get to come through because I'm no longer hindered by the, the shortcomings of my ability in the craft. And that's enough talking for the moment, because I need food. Oh, who's a, who's a good puppy? Yes. Well, I uh, obviously ended up back at core. I wrote like eight or 9,000 words today. Not exactly sure how many. I think maybe more like 8,000 words, but I wrote like 8,000 words today, which is huge because I've been on a, I've just had a massive writing block for a long time and it's been hard to get more than one to 2,000 words out in a day. I'm on a roll. I'm really excited. I want to keep writing so badly. You're suffering from insomnia. Dim the lights when the sun goes down because lights can mess with your body's own melatonin production. You might have noticed a lack of me talking in the garage lately, and that's largely because the temperatures in here are not hospitable to humans. So I'll be quick. I'm feeling really good about getting over the block in Agnar's box. I feel like I'm getting, I'm really giving you the parts that are gonna move. But the tricky part when writing the parts that move is that they tend to move without you. And what I mean by that is you get into, I, like for me I write, I can write a lot. Like if I sit down and I get into the, 
the mode and I'm, I'm going, I can write well over 10,000 words in a day, which sounds great and is great, but the problem with that is, is that you tend to miss a lot of details when you're doing that, and you tend to sacrifice details even that you're aware of. That's, I feel like that's where I get my laziest. When I'm writing the fastest, snow just fell off the tire, sorry. When I'm writing the most volume, as fast as I can, uh, it's great, but ironically that's when I become the laziest and I tend to just want to keep going and get as much on the page as I can. And not that even any of that's bad, but it, I don't feel like it tends to be as good as the stuff that I really struggle through just because I don't slow down to do the harder parts, you know, work in motivation to show instead of tell to really make the writing work for me as well as it could which hopefully you get when you go back through and revise. But again, revising requires that you not be lazy and you do some hard work, so. We'll see. I'm hoping that I can keep the pace up though anyways because I'd love to just knock it out and then go back through and flesh it out. And I've gone back through and reworked the beginning so many times now just trying to get the juices flowing that I'm really feeling on top of it finally. I'm at least feel motion, which is excellent. So, my goal is to finish it uh, uh, before stuff happens next month. I'm sorry I haven't told you yet what that is. I don't feel like super confident saying anything publicly yet because the whole year behind me has been a year of like, hey, here's something cool, never mind. And so not that that's gonna happen this time, not that I expect that to happen at all, but that I'm just a little bit like, uh, I don't know how. Uh. Feels almost like jeopardizing it to speak about it out loud. So uh, maybe I've already said too much, I don't know. But I am really excited to tell you about it. There are clues on my website already, so if you go to my website, you might be able to figure it out. Otherwise, for the, everybody that sent me messages, everyone, I've gotten a lot of messages about this and actually been approached about it on the street. Uh, thank you for taking such an interest. I'm really glad you do. I'm not trying to drag this out. I'm not trying to make it painful. I probably just shouldn't have said anything in the first place, but I couldn't help myself and I'm really excited. So anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this finds you ready for Monday. Uh, my Sunday was great, obviously I wrote a lot. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, like this video, leave a comment if you wouldn't mind. All those things really help a lot. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.